Today so we're doing soft solder. Now, soft solders are usually tin and lead mixtures, alloys, uh, but they're called soft solder because they've got a low melting point. Uh, typically, if the melting point is under 400 degrees, we would call it a soft solder. After that, it would be called brazing at higher temperatures. What we're doing here is uh, shortening my trumpet because it's too flat, it's too low, and there's nothing you can do except make it shorter. So um, we've cut through the pipe and we're going to re-solder that connection back on again. Um, now, the temperature that we usually get to when we're using a soft solder is, um, well, tin has a melting point of 232, lead melts at 327, but uh, when you make it a mixture between the two, the melting point is uh, lower again. You get a melting point as low as uh, just over 200 degrees. There's a couple of different soft solders. You have 50-50, which is generally used for plumbers, and then the 6040, which is getting closer to the eutectic, uh, is used for um, fine work uh, and particularly for electrical. And um, the eutectic is 6634. Now here we need, um, before we do our soldering, we need to etch the surface and that's what this soldering fluid does. Uh, it's, it's a type of acid that eats uh, the surface making sure that the metal is going to grip. We want to make sure that solder actually sticks to the, uh, to the brass and that's what this flux is for. Um, all right, so uh, the preparation of the uh, joint has uh, involved doing some sanding on the surface, uh, one so that it will fit, but also uh, to make sure that that solder is going to grip the surface. And then we etch it as well. And then as we uh, introduce some heat to it, um, we're going to first of all wet the surface with the, uh, with the solder. This is a very tight fit on this joint, so I'm uh, going to make sure that this solder is going to get right through. Just making sure we get up to temperature. I'm also being pretty careful. We've got a lacquer on the uh, on the brass as well, so uh, got to stay below the temperature that's going to wreck the lacquer. You know when you've got there because the there there we go. We've just got up to the temperature to melt that solder. This is standard electrical solder, by the way, so it's probably around the uh, 6040 mark, which is about the lowest temperature you'll be able to find for soft solder. <coughs> All right, now I'm, I'm wiping that solder off just so that I know I've coated that surface with solder and that way uh, it's going to wick into the joint um, very well. All right, now it's um, plated with um, solder. I fit the socket on. I'm just uh, bringing the socket back a little bit from the very end so that I can sweat the solder into the joint. And this is uh, what's often done with plumbing, soft soldered plumbing. They heat up the socket and the solder uses capillary action to be uh, brought into the joint. So I'm, I'm focusing most of the heat on the actual socket itself where the mouthpiece fits on. Testing the temperature, it's boiling the water off, it means we're getting very close to the right temperature now. Don't want to go too hot. Okay, now as I bring the, the solder in, you'll see that it begins to melt when I've got to that temperature. Not quite there yet. There we go. That's just up to temperature to melt the solder. Now it's important that I bring most of the heat over on the socket, which will draw the solder up into the joint now. Okay, we've got a couple of millimeters to move that in uh, to cover up some of our excess solder going on there. That's about it there. Well, that's that joint done. Now we've got to put this um, brace back on. We took that off in order to move the, uh, the mouthpiece socket forward. So I've got to put that back. 
This is also soft soldered, so uh, it's going to be the same sort of job. Just deliberating whether we should cut the end of that because it's uh, we've lost about a centimetre off the length of the pipe, <coughs> but it looks like uh, we can get away with it. Okay, we've soldered the um, the hand the the end against the bell first. Um, that happened when my hand was in the way, but <coughs> I'm just cooling that down mainly because I don't want the whole trumpet to heat up too much. And um, it was a bit careless of me. I should have covered the valves early on with that wet rag. All right, now we're heating the socket up again, hope, uh, trying to get the heat up so that we can put solder in between the brace and the socket. It's up to temperature now. I don't want to overheat it now, otherwise it'll have drips coming out the bottom. So I'm just leaving the flame off until uh, it won't take any more solder. And that's it. Okay, my trumpet is about one centimetre shorter. means that it won't be flat anymore, I hope. <laughs>